I'm Julia Zabo, also known as Pet Reporter, and I am the Living with Dogs columnist for Dogster.com. I've actually written six books, and I'm hard at work on my next one. It will be about dogs. That's as much as I can say right now. <laughs> I love dogs, and I think nobody's life is complete without one. So I'm here to tell you about a variety of different dog breeds that might suit your lifestyle. I hope you'll adopt one soon. The Corgi is a fabulous little dog. It's a herding breed. And pretty much everyone knows by now that Queen Elizabeth II loves this breed. You basically, when you see photos of her happy, it's when she's with her corgis. Her dad, King George, um, had corgis. Uh, th that was their family pet. And the wonderful movie, The King's Speech, which just won all the Academy Awards a movie could win, uh, actually shows the corgis just in passing, but you know, you can't not show the corgis when you talk about the royal family. And um, I think that's definitely what's driven up the popularity of the breed, but honestly, with or without Queen Elizabeth, the breed would be very popular. They're super cute. They come in two kinds, the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. The difference is that the Pembroke has no tail and the Cardigan has a tail. Otherwise, they're the same, adorable little dogs. Again, though, they love to have a job to do, so try to give them something to do, even if it's just, you know, aerobic games of fetch. That's a job, and it's a fun one, and it's fun for you, it's fun for the dog. They're short-legged dogs, so maybe they're not your best running partner if you're a triathlete, uh, but they're super great companions to have around.